Hi Cancer, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general message for you. If you have cancer placements, chances are something could resonate for you today. Do not force any message to fit. Messages for cancer, please. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. We've got caring connections. All tied up. Okay. Number 14, number 23. Somebody could be stuck in a connection that you know about. Adjacent possibilities here. Somebody could be trying to consider a different path for themselves. This, I don't think this is you, Cancer. Somebody could be connected to somebody else and they feel trapped in some way, shape or form. They're considering a different path for, for themselves here. They're having to make some sort of decision. We've got blossoming abundance here. Okay, we've got six. This person could be in a marriage for some of you. You could be dealing with a Libra. I get that this person is connected to something else, but they feel trapped in something and they're having to make some sort of choice. With Blossom in Abundance, I feel like they see happiness in a place that they are not at, if that makes sense. This could be you that they're looking towards or this could be something else. I don't know. This could be somebody you're dealing with even you know, who may feel like they want to come out of a contract with you in some way, shape or form. This could be you, but I don't feel like this is. I feel like this is somebody else for you. Somebody could be anxious to speak to you about this, or you could be anxious about some sort of communication here. Messages for Cancer. Let's get right into it. What does Cancer need to know? We've got the Strength card. Okay. Strength card, we've got the Star. We've got the five of pentacles here. We've got the seven of pentacles in the reverse. We've got the world card. And we've got the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Uh, give me two more, please. Two of cups. Wow, the hanged man. Interesting. Ten of swords is exactly what I said here. Ten of swords is at the bottom of the deck. The chariot card in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck also. Cancer, you could be dealing with a Leo with the strength card. We've got Aquarius here. We've got fixed sign energy. We've got um, earth signs. Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Water sign, but not as strong, Pisces. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who is losing strength for a situation. This person is in another connection here. This person needs to end the cycle with somebody else with the world card here in order to come towards a wish fulfillment, which I would believe is going to be you, Cancer. They view you as somebody who could be in the public eye, somebody who is wish fulfillment to them, but they need to leave something else in, in the cold. This is gonna cause some sort of disharmony here with the three of cups in the reverse here but they're having a realization here they're having a shift in perspective that whatever they're involved in is not it it's just not it for them here i feel like they view you again with blossoming abundance they view you in a very high regard but they have to close out some sort of cycle in their life to come towards you here with the strength card in the reverse and the seven of pentacles, something is no longer growing in a connection that they are involved in and it is coming to an end. This could be a marriage. This could be that somebody is wanting to divorce somebody else here. Let's see what we have. Nine of swords, temperance. They want to bring some sort of balance to their life, but they're worrying about this. Strength card in the reverse, please. Three of wands. They're, they want to go in a different direction. They want to move on from something. They want to move forward with something else. This person's losing passion, losing patience, being trapped in a situation. They feel trapped. This could be somebody who is at a distance from you. Worldly distance, possibly, for some of you. Emotionally distant. Page of Wands, they want to talk to you about this. They have some sort of new idea. The Moon card, confusion, self-deception. This could be a person who wants to come in and reveal something to you with the Moon card. 
one more please page of wands what do they want to talk about judgment is in the reverse they want to talk to you about ending another situation nine of wands this person's getting tired this person's tired of something in their life this person's tired here they're losing the fight with something with the judgment card this could be a scorpio here they're having a lot of anxiety about this this decision that they they want to make here they need to end something with somebody this could be somebody who is struggling to make a decision this could be somebody who knows they need to make a decision and they're procrastinating on the inevitable here clarify the star cards please Knight of Wands, they want to rush in towards you, Cancer. They view you as some sort of wish fulfillment, the tower. Major Arcana here. This could be a Scorpio with the death card at the bottom of the deck. This person views you as wish fulfillment. This person views you as it, all that and a bag of chips and then some. Knight of Wands, heavily attracted to you. They want to rush in. They want to rush in and bring forward this, this tower. They want to make a big shift in their life here with the moon card, reveal something to you. But this is going to break up some... This is this involves breaking up with somebody else. This possibly could be somebody who they have a family with. Possibly children with the sun card and the ten of cups. This person feels dissatisfied with the situation they are in with the four of cups. Regrets over getting into something, this connection that they're involved in. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. They need to end something to have wish fulfillment for themselves. They are thinking about this heavily with the Four of Swords. This could be something that they are contemplating. I'm getting repetitive thoughts here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Something isn't working for them anymore in that situation. The Chariot card. They want to move forward from this. Five of Cups, they feel so dissatisfied, they feel disappointment, they no longer want to put any work into this. Um, what actions will this person be taking to Cancer, please? With Cancer, this is quite a straightforward reading. Seven of Swords, they want to be strategic. The lovers to have a connection with you, Knight of Cups, Two of Wands to choose you as a path. Seven of Cups, Four of Cups. You could be very confused over what direction that this person is going to go in here with the Two of Wands, Seven of Cups. But they definitely want to come forward with some sort of offer here. We've got the Knight of Cups. This is a person who feels a lot of emotion for you. They feel a connection to you and they need to be strategic because they've obviously got this other situation that they are involved in, Cancer. Just be careful that this person closes out this cycle appropriately so it does not reflect in your karma here. High Priest, let's use your intuition here. What will be the outcome of this? The Devil card. Page of Cups. This person's obsessing over this decision of this offer. Queen of Coins. Could be a Capricorn. Knight of Swords is in the reverse. You could be becoming frustrated with the situation here. This could be something that you may not even wait for anymore. Seven of Wands in the reverse. You could be surrendering and walking away. This could be something where you, you're checking out your other options here. How does Cancer feel in this situation? How does Cancer feel? Page of Coins. You want something new, Cancer. Four of Swords, you're thinking about this heavily. Five of Wands, you see this as a lot of drama. You see this as a lot of drama here when you think about this situation. Nine of Coins, you're very, very stable in your own right here, Cancer. High Priestess, you're trying to use your intuition here. Page of Swords, you're trying to gather new information. I feel like you are in a good energy here. Whenever this person comes in, because I feel like they're coming towards you, just be careful that you're seeking the right information here. Be careful they've closed out, divorced, or ended the situation that they are involved in. They feel heavily connected to you with the Lovers card. 
and they definitely want to take some sort of leap of faith they see you as very stable somebody who's very very abundant in your own energy here will cancer stick around queen of cups i feel like you've got feelings for this person six of cups yeah eight of wands you will definitely entertain the communication that is coming towards you here We've got the eight of wands here. This is communication, six of cups. You could have had a past with this person. This could be per a person who you was previously connected to. There is actually a lot of love here with the queen of cups. You have a soft spot for this person. So it could be that you will entertain this person here, Cancer. You are getting a bit frustrated with waiting. You could be possibly exploring your options at this time and not really waiting for this person but i feel like this is what is drawing this person towards you here they're trying to devise some sort of plan in their life to come towards you but eight of wands expect communication yeah because this person isn't happy here this person isn't hold, happy holding back from you with the four of coins interesting reading cancer i hope that that helped somebody if you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and the video. It is greatly appreciated. But until next time, I will see you soon. Bye, Cancer.